Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. The approval of the local government code is a significant milestone for the Bangsamoro. 4.5 years ago, we ratified the Bangsamoro law and signaled the shift from the military to a political struggle. Finally, we have a local government code that is tailor fit for the needs of the Bangsamoro. We had always said that the root cause of conflict and the motivation for the Bangsamoro struggle is to address political and economic marginalization. Today is an exercise of political and economic autonomy. We are in the practice of political autonomy that may not be perfect, but just like the practice of law and medicine, the practice of making policy and law is a continuing process. We improve and become better over time. But in order to improve and be better, like medicine and law, we should practice it or lose it or lose the competency over it. Either we exercise our political and economic autonomy or we will lose what has already been given. The practice of political autonomy has the good and the challenges. The good thing with the local government code, the 600 pages that we are presenting now, is that it provides chances for a more responsive and receptive LGU. There's mandatory training and capacity building. There's regulation of uh, LGUs, improvement of coordination, establishment of councils, full devolution, improved benefits to the barangays, more power, authority, and responsibility to the LGU so that they can be self-sufficient, improvement in the financial systems, and transparency and accountability in governance. There's inclusion of the madaris in the local school boards, IPs, and ad hoc bodies to address redo and Sharia compliance against riba. These are the positive things that we have to accept. But just like in life, you cannot always be happy. There will always be darkness amidst the light. There will be always be rain against the sunshine. And therefore, there may be contentious issues, but these are present in all laws. Contentious issues like the anti-dynasty provision that was provided in the Constitution, but for 33 years, no enabling law was done. It is only here in the Bangsamoro where we provided four maybe uh, points about political, partisan political activity, which I had also raised, raised issues. However, um, the debates in a parliamentary process, the majority wins although the voices of the minority had been heard. So I congratulate the committee who had gone through these 600 pages and the victory of the empowered women lawyers and leaders like MP Raisa Jajuri, MP Ana Basman, um, MP Laya Alba, and uh, MP Marianne Arnado. Sa dami ng sinabi at pinopost ko na sinabi nilang hindi pwede. Laging busted. But then may mga pumasok din naman. The point is, we recognize that these ladies have shown that the Bangsamoro women have their competencies. And in truth, some sectors might question the legislation by the Bangsamoro, but of course, like students of uh, political autonomy, we might be corrected. But all students need to pass through a process of correction to become better. Finally, in conclusion, the greatest positive change that we have done here is not just the local government code that we passed in a few months. It's not just we are uh, to be placed in the Guinness Book of World Records for passing eight laws in one day, but it is the practice of autonomy, political and economic autonomy that our forefathers, you, your father, your parents, our relatives have fought for because we believe that Self-determination, political and economic autonomy is the real key for long-term peace and development in the Bangsamoro. My vote is a positive yes.